The Kaioken is one of Goku's most iconic techniques. And boy, do I mean iconic. Think about it. Whenever you see an image of Goku doing the Kaioken, does it not bring back warm, nostalgic memories of the early parts of Dragon Ball Z, watching it back in the day on Cartoon Network or on syndication or wherever you saw it? The Kaioken is almost like a representation of the pre-Super Saiyan era of Dragon Ball Z, and we saw it come back later on as well. But what is the Kaioken? How does it work? What does it do? And what is the secret behind the technique? Where did the idea come from? Well, this is the video for you as I'm going to give you the most comprehensive and detailed look at what the Kaioken is and how it works on this edition of the Geekdom 101 Technique Guide. Let's talk about the actual meaning behind the word Kaioken. Kaioken, which was incorrectly mispronounced as Kaioken in the original Dragon Ball Z dub, is the technique that King Kai, Kaiosama, invented. It's his technique, hence why it's called Kaioken. In the future dubs of Dragon Ball, including the more recent Dragon Ball Super and Kai dubs, they did fix this problem, even though they also mispronounced the word Saiyan as Saiyan, but that was never fixed. An easy way to translate the phrase Kaiosama for King Kai or Lord Kai is the Lord of the Worlds. So the move literally would translate to Lord of the Worlds Fist. And once again, we have some weird translation bugs going on with the Toei subs from Dragon Ball Super that refer to it as the King Kai Fist. That's a decent translation, but his name isn't really King Kai. King Kaio is more of a fitting name. But either way, Kaio Ken is a perfectly way of describing it. Basically, like I said, Lord of the World Fist or Fist of the World King, whichever one you think is cooler, or just call it Kaio Ken, which we all pretty much do. Now, one thing that Dragon Ball Super has taught us is that the gods all have these very unique and strange abilities that mortals have never even heard of before, and the Kaio Ken is one of them. Nobody ever used Kaio Ken until Goku was able to meet Kaio Sama at the end of Snake Way, train with him, and learn to master the move. One interesting thing to think about is that even though Kaio Sama that we know is the North Kaio, there's three other Kais as well. The question is, do any of them know the Kaioken? The world may never know. Another question that is often asked is, well, okay, Goku learned the Kaioken. What about Goku's friends like Piccolo and Yamcha, who also trained with him in the Frieza saga? Do they know the Kaioken? Even though some of the video games may lead you to believe that they do, we've never, ever, ever seen these guys use the Kaioken. In fact, the only person we've actually seen use this move is Goku. I'm not including video games here or heroes or any of that stuff. Like I said, it's just Goku. It's Goku's move. Goku learns two very valuable techniques that would become signatures in his arsenal from his training with King Kai, and that is the Genki Dama, the Spirit Bomb, and the Kaioken. But we don't actually see a visual representation of the Kaioken until Dragon Ball Z Episode 29, which correlates with Dragon Ball Manga Chapter 226. In this incredibly epic scene, Nappa is about to attack Krillin and Gohan, and Goku screams Kaioken and is surrounded by this incredibly just awesome looking red aura, propels through the sky, and double punches Nappa in the spine, immediately finishing the dude with one burst of power. And don't forget, Nappa was so hurt by this technique that he couldn't even move. He was paralyzed shortly after this. That's how much pain Goku inflicted on Nappa with the Kaioken. As Goku evolves in his training, he learns to tap into Kaioken multipliers times 2, times 3, times 4, later on times 10, and times 20, and yes, even times 100 in one of the Dragon Ball Z movies. But what's interesting about the Kaioken is as Goku evolves the technique through training, normalizing it with his body, he also learns to mask the visual representation of that technique. For example, during the fight with Frieza, as Goku's friends are wondering why is he not using the Kaioken, Kaiosama reveals that he actually was using the Kaioken the entire time. We just could not see it. And this horrified Goku's friends because they thought that with the Kaioken he may have had a chance against Frieza, 
and the reality is he didn't. In fact, when it comes to the Kaioken, the Frieza saga is kind of the last time the Kaioken was truly relevant, as we don't really see it in the Cell saga or the Boo saga. Now, we did see it in the Other World Tournament filler arc, which is not in the manga, that's anime only, some of the Dragon Ball Z movies even after the Frieza saga, and of course, it did make a grand return in Dragon Ball Super. So, for the most part, the Kaioken was phased out for a lot of the latter part of Dragon Ball Z. Now, the question is, how does the Kaioken actually work? We're going to be discussing that in the next section. Unfortunately, most of the training that Goku did on Kaiosama's planet was off screen, and thus we really didn't see Goku learning the Kaioken through him we don't really know how he taught him the technique so what we're gonna have to do is look outside of just the dragon ball manga to get the answer as far as how this works which is something that we have to do a lot with these technique guides because sometimes it does require further reading not just with dragon ball related materials but also stuff outside of dragon ball that may have influenced dragon ball so we have to turn to the dragon ball guidebooks to see what they say about this technique so in Daizenshu 2, page 212, or Daizenshu 4, page 13, it says this about the Kaioken. A technique that instantly amplifies the key inside one's body, multiplying all that person's abilities, including power, speed, defense, etc. Since it makes one capable of utilizing battle power many times their own ability, it is extraordinarily effective during battles with formidable opponents. However, because it is impossible to multiply excessively far beyond one's abilities, experimenting with an unreasonably high Kaioken might destroy one's own body. When the user's battle power is 8,000, their limit is times 2, and when they are at 3 million, their limit is times 10. However, since real battles are harsh, Goku often had to use Kaioken above those limits. The Kaioken's designer is the Northern Kaio, but Goku was the first person to be able to master it. Kaio even tells Goku not to use Kaioken beyond times 2, to just stick with those. But unfortunately, Vegeta was too much for Goku to handle without using the Kaioken, and thus he had to do it. He had no choice. Also, there is a bit of an inconsistency when it comes to the Kaioken and Kaioken times 2 because they do appear to have pretty much the same multiplier, and that is times 2. So, would times 2 give you times 3? It's very confusing. So, I just want to say that the Kaioken base is an amplification and that times two is the actual multiplier. To me, that makes the most sense. So you amplify your senses with the Kaioken and then times two, you double that amplification and so on and so forth as you get higher and higher levels. One thing that we learned from Captain Ginyu taking over Goku's body, which by the way, I did do a technique guide on Captain Ginyu's body change. Remember to check that out, is that Captain Ginyu could not tap into the Kaioken. And the answer, well, the question is why? And the answer is the true explanation of how the Kaioken works, and that is the fact that the Kaioken is not just a physical technique, it's also a mental and spiritual technique. In order for the Kaioken to properly be utilized, it requires an integration of mind and body. Goku has to simultaneously temper his mind and his body because if his body is not properly trained to handle the Kaioken, it will fall apart. But if his mind can't tap into it, he can just never use it. He'll sit there and scream Kaioken all day and it just won't work. Since the start of Dragon Ball, Goku has undergone lots and lots of rigorous training. And by the time we get to the Vegeta saga where Goku does learn the Kaioken, it's one of those things where he pretty much already has been training his body his whole life so it wasn't too difficult for him to learn it but after the fight with Vegeta he figured that he had to tap into higher versions of the Kaioken higher multipliers and thus he had to train his body once again which is why in the spaceship on the way to Namek Goku is training rigorously difficult to get his body to adapt to higher multipliers of the Kaioken and I mean he's doing it non-stop and the principles are pretty similar to how we train in the real world. Lots of intense physical training, putting a tremendous physical strain on your body, focusing on repetition and training your body to react and become integrated with your mind as well as also learning how to take damage and having tons of endurance. And when I say take damage, I don't necessarily mean in combat, I mean actually take damage from the Kaioken. Goku has to train his particles in his body 
to be able to withstand the power of the Kaioken before turning it on. Goku taps into a deep form of energy, of ki, inside of his body to where all of his cells become very tight and become filled with energy and then that energy is ignited and that's how the Kaioken turns on. By the way, real quick side note because I know some of you are going to bring it up. I know that Chi Chi does the Kaioken in the Garlic Jr. Saga. That's just like a gag that's not really the Kaioken. That's just supposed to be like a little, you know, a funny moment. It's not really the Kaioken and it's not really in the manga either. So I had to say it because if I didn't, I'd get tons of comments about Chi Chi can do the Kaioken. No, it's, it's just a gag scene. It's... It's supposed to be funny. So from a Taoist perspective, which is where a lot of the Dragon Ball techniques come from, there is a bit more information. Essentially, the energy is drawn from what's called the Dantian, which is an energy field in the lower body, sent out to the chest, the back, the head, and the four limbs, your two arms and your two legs. Not the fifth limb, guys. Don't be a perv. Then again, maybe it does work on the fifth limb. I'll have to ask Fun Sexy about that. Anyways... The key travels underneath the skin and causes the muscles in your body to bulge out and the flesh to become thick around the bones and the muscles. So it prepares itself to withstand high amounts of energy and of course the flame properties. There's not an actual flame, but it's similar to a flame because you are lighting your body on fire, increasing the temperature of your body tremendously, even though it doesn't actually burn other people or burn you but afterwards obviously Goku is steaming with energy because the more he uses the Kaioken the more of a strain it has on his body I mean we know that so as this energy that comes from the Dantian finally reaches Goku's skin his flesh it begins to give off this sort of heat wind and electric energy that ignites and as this happens all of the cells in Goku's body essentially turn on they all open up all of his molecules and atoms and subatomic particles are tapped into for a very brief amount of time so that he can deliver the strongest blows possible to his opponent now because of this the cells in goku's body die and thus it takes time to be replaced by other and newer cells and that is why goku needs to rest after using the kaioken because it just eats him up it just tears him up every time he uses it it's pretty clear to me that Toriyama got his idea from that or possibly from the Tibetan monk's fire. If you don't know what that is, Google monk's fire. But basically you have these dudes, these monks who are able to basically light themselves on fire and not feel any pain. You've probably seen it before on television. It's a very real thing. And I think the Kaioken was really based on that concept. And a lot of it has to do with mental and physical training and making sure that the mind and body are one. In 1981, a Harvard Medical School researcher discovered that Tibetan monks can increase their body temperature by up to 17 degrees by using a meditation technique called forceful breath. So Kaioken is basically the Dragon Ball version of forceful breath times a heck of a lot. And I will say this, I do believe that the Kaioken was tailor-made for a Saiyan to use because of Saiyan genetics and their incredible endurance and ability to keep fighting over and over and over again, this allows Goku to persevere and not to just explode from using the Kaioken at a high rate. So that could be another reason as to why his friends don't use the Kaioken because their bodies may not be able to adapt to it like that of a Saiyan. So his gene pool, as well as a lifetime of battle, is what makes the Kaioken one of Goku's signature moves and why it makes sense that he can use it more effectively than others. A lot of this wonderful information was provided by Derek Padula over at the Tao of Dragon Ball. Check out the Tao of Dragon Ball.com so that you can read up on all kinds of cool Dragon Ball stuff and check out his books, the Dragon Ball Culture Series, available now at Amazon as well as on the Tao of Dragon Ball.com. In the future, I will be discussing more about the Kaioken, like the Kaioken Blue and all kinds of variations of it in future videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Kaioken Explain Technique Guide. And if you enjoyed this technique guide, check these out as well. And the Technique Guide playlist because I try to cover as many techniques as possible in the wonderfully large world of Dragon Ball. I'll catch you down the road.